There are a lot of videos out there that will tell you that you need this or that piece of gear and that it will transform your photography. Well, today's video is not a video like that. It's actually the opposite. In today's video, I want to discuss the gear that you absolutely don't need and that I personally believe is kind of a waste of money. And make sure you stay until the end of the video because I will also share with you one particular item that I believe is also a waste of money for videographer. All right, so first, you don't need every single lens out there. And I know that I'm kind of cheating and it's not only one item, but hear me out. Many people will tell you that you need the 16, the 18, the 23, the 35 millimeter, the 55 millimeter, the 90 millimeter, and also the zoom lenses just in case. Well, most of the time, the people who advise you to buy different pieces of gears, well, first, they do not buy it themselves. And second, they make money out of it. So not only it's a waste of money because you won't be able to use all the gear that you have, but it's also a use of space and weight in your bag. Imagine you are going to a project or a particular shoot and you try to carry all these piece of gears. It makes no sense at all. You will be so focused about your gear that you will forget about your client. What you can do to make this particular shoot better, whether it's working with the light, with composition, or how to tell a better story through the pictures that you want to take. And at the end of the day, having too much gear will just be counterproductive. Focus on understanding what you like shooting, what focal length you enjoy, and work from there. It doesn't make sense to own 10 lenses if you don't use them. All right, so many times I see people buying a super expensive lens with beautiful glass with a lot of treatments on it, right? To decrease uh, chromatic aberration, to decrease reflection, and to improve the overall quality of the image that you can achieve with this particular lens. And in order to protect the lens, they buy a cheap UV filter on Amazon and just stick it in front of it. Well, congratulations, you just transformed your beautiful expensive lens into a um, kind of piece of Now every single picture that you take with this lens will be affected by this cheap, inexpensive, untreated piece of glass that you stuck at the front of it. The image quality will be decreased, you will have reflection and all possible defects that come with cheap glass. If you want to protect your lens, my advice would be to either buy a more expensive UV filter to stick in front of your lens or get insurance for your gear. Personally, I stopped using UV filter for that reason and so far so good. I tend to take care of my gear, so hopefully I will not break anything in the future. But if you want to get a filter to protect your lens, at least get a good one. Alright, so you will hear a lot of YouTubers out there tell you that Gorillapod are amazing and it's an essential piece of gear. And if you have a Gorillapod, you don't need a tripod at all. Well, I think that's complete a gorilla pod might be small and compact, but it cannot do what a tripod does, meaning that it cannot extend, it is not as stable, it is not as flexible in terms of height, in terms of orientation. You will always be limited wherever you go and whenever you bring it. And of course, they will tell you that you can put the gorilla pod around trees or around poles or whatever to film yourself and that there is no problem at all. You don't always have trees nor poles around you and sometimes carrying your gorilla pod around vlog style is not an option. So if I were you, I would get a real tripod instead of a gorilla pod. A tripod can basically do everything that a gorilla pod does, except maybe hanging on trees. Might be a bit heavier, but is also steadier and will be a much more useful piece of gear for your photography. All right, and for a bonus item, let's talk about videography. So like a lot of us, I saw a lot of videos praising gimbals and how they're getting smaller and smaller and how they are an essential tool for any videographer out there. I decided to save up some money and get one because I was to work on more video projects. And well, let me tell you that so far I haven't used it much. I'm not saying that gimbals are complete trash and useless, but all I'm saying is that they are a really niche piece of gears for action shots or to follow your subjects around. And while I'm still owning my gimbal today, honestly, I would advise against buying one. Are you shooting that many people running around all the time? You can take good videos without using a gimbal. And I think that most people don't need one. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know what kind of gear I own and actually use on my projects or shoots, then check out this video right here where I describe the gear that I'm using in 2022. See you there.